Well, someone is clearly not acting like himself these days. Hello and good morning everybody, this is Megalink Jolon here with another Let's Play of Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I of course am your host, Megalink Jolon. So if you are joining me now for the first time, or if you are new to my channel, we are going to be going in... We have just started recently playing Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom again. We previously got the... Uh, what was it? Uh... The travel medallion from uh, Robbie, but uh, we can't go uh, to its full power yet. We need to get at least 10 more service maps updated, so that's going to have to wait for another time. Anywho, moving on right along. We're going to be traveling into the Goron provinces this time. So let's fast travel over. Arriving at Ekochu Shrine, if I'm pronouncing that right. Pick up some dazzle fruit. Is city is that way. <whistles> yeah, I guess our horse can't hear us. City is that way. Uh, the Great Fairy Fountains will have to wait for another time. Best to unlock the entire map before uh, doing that. And I see Epona right over there. What's this rock doing here? Eh, just one fire fruit. All right, let's ride. Oh, it's that guy again. Well, let's help him out. I'll quit your complaining. Ah! Oh, it's you. Thank you for your help earlier. I'm putting President Hudson here, too. But I can't stand here forever. I got... So many more signs to spread around. I don't know what to do. Try letting go. How is the president standing? That was brilliant. I never would have thought of that. 
Oh, right. Let's get him secured while he's still standing. Ah! Perfect! With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and is firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing uh, so well on his own. Here, take this with my thanks. <laughs> and also, you must be hungry after all that hard work. Well, right? Let me give you a little something I made myself. But I still feel like I haven't thanked you enough. This is a little something fr from my premium collection. A sleepover ticket. Okay. Ah. Now I can go to other places to put up more signs. And with that, I'm off. I don't really know if there's a, really a reward for uh, putting uh, President Hudson signs all over everywhere, but maybe we can go to Terrytown after we complete the Goron scenario. Who knows? Uh, let's check the wreckage right here. Oh, was that a lizard? Huh, a member. Nice. ourselves a fireproof lizard. How many do we have? Just one? Oh well. Okay, ore deposit. Got that cobble crusher on and off screen. From an amoeba on off screen. Sunshrooms allow you to survive bitter cold. get trampled all the time. <laughs> Take things slow and steady. Or wolves can attack. I see a shrine up ahead. <clears throat> oh, my friend and I got separated. 
My friend is sending off a smoke signal. I can't wait to catch up. I'm so tired though, I can't move. Yeah, you better run, Fido. Oh, quit your complaining. We're about to take you there. I wish you could carry these guys with your own hand. <laughs> Bedrock Bistro, we have arrived. Ignore the fire tree that we passed. Sorry. for bringing my friend here something for you. Two Korok seeds. Nice. Yeah. Bye. All right. <clears throat> now that that's out of the way, we can go to the shrine. Uh, once we unlock the Korok mask, finding Korok will be a lot easier. <laughs> Themawak Shrine. Against the flow. Careful not to fall into the lava. as well. This calls for a total recall. And yes, that was a pun. Treasure chest. Doesn't hurt to see what's inside. Strong Zonite Shield. Carry any more shields right now. Nope. 
In you go. Uh, too far. Just a little out of the three point line. And again. There we go. Hydrants right here. We're gonna need to make ourselves a little boat right here. Now comes the part where we need to use the fans. And away we go. Alright. Shrine complete. Visitor to the Shrine of Light, that which imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. You have done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. Light of Blessing Obtained. May the Light of Blessing grant you the strength you seek. It's nighttime already? Now let's check out the Gorons. Are you a traveler? You may not want to go to that restaurant over there. You probably shouldn't go to Goron City either. 
Ever since the marbled rock roast showed up, everyone's been acting funny. Big Bro was so happy to get into Yonoboko, but now it's like he doesn't even care. He feels like a stranger to me. Marbled rock roast? Yeah, they're the yummy rocks that Yonoboko sells now. They're like everywhere. Is that what he's eating? You can find them in the caves around here, kind of all over the place lately. Everyone says they're super tasty. But they're so hard and crunchy that us uh, kids can't, and elders can't eat them. Or teeth can Noboko? Yeah, you know, the team that digs up uh, or around here and sells it and stuff. Big Bro is always sell uh, feeling proud about the growth in Goron City, saying that it's all thanks to Yonoboko. But ever since the marbled rock roast, they started, uh, started selling marbled rock roast. The whole city's been acting weird. Not even the eyes look the same anymore. It's not like he's even my big brother, bro, at all. Uh, excuse me. You may not. Uh, we just uh, heard all this. Here for Coke's uh, famous culinary concoctions, too. Recently, I heard about a rare delicacy being offered here known as marbled rock roast. I'm told it's in indescribable. I interrupted my travels to come to try, but they're fresh out. Not sure edible rocks would appeal to a Hylian, though. It's too much tooth, too much tooth crunch. Normally, there's a menu for just Hylians, but every everything sold out on that one as well. Seems like we're both out of luck, huh? Yeah, I don't think uh, marbled rock roast would be. Look, I'm sorry I wasted it. But I'm asking you, bring me another mar rock roast isn't reasonable. How about this instead? These mysterious things were only uh, discovered after the upheaval. Looks like they're a, looks a little strange, but it's hardly a, a curio to come by. Marbled rock roast is a short supply and a high demand around here. Everyone's uh, it. I barely have been keeping up. And our hottest, uh, when our hottest commodity go to waste is unforgivable. You can make up for it by bringing me fresh marbled rock roast. Now get that thing out of my sight. If I was able to get you some, I currently would ha have done it by now. I checked the caves up past the car tracks, huh? just like you told me. I couldn't get anything. And there's no way. You hope. No, no, there's places that are too dangerous for a Highland like me. Not my problem. And I don't want that, that hunk of junk. I'm not letting you off uh, the hook until you bring me, get me a marbled rock roast. Meat for meat. Side quest open. Okay, uh... Cook says, "Marbled rock roast can be found in the caves past the past the the cart tracks. Uh, these cart tracks, I assume." If anything, we might have to make ourselves some fireproof potions. Oh, would you look at that? A couple of fireproof lizards. Okay, we might be able to make ourselves some fireproof uh, elixirs if we have just the right stuff. Uh, let me see if we have a... Yeah, I know we have some chews on us. Some chew jelly. Ah, here we go. 
All right, flame guard. Got to be careful for morph. Uh, shoot, what was I going to say? Oh, well. We Gotta collect more fireproof lizards for more fireproof uh, lizards if we want them. A deep freeze. Yeah, we can't carry any more melee weapons, sadly. What is this a dead end? Okay, someplace we took a wrong turn. Yeah, just a little warning sign about uh, the heat. Discovery. East Restaurant Cave. And this is where we're going to need the fireproof elixir. It's burning. You'll take all the damage if you stay in here longer. Ah! Yeah, you don't want to equip anything that's wooden here. Wooden weapons or shields will catch fire in areas like this. Okay, was there a minecart around here that I missed? Of course it's right here. What's with that glowing ooze? Wait, is that marbled rock roast? Yep, you're gonna need to collect at least one from here. Later on, we'll be able to destroy those. Now, if we, if we just use a propulsion... Let's see, I think we still got some fans on us. Yep, we still got plenty. <laughs> Off we go. 
Wait, was that? Ah! Ah, Keith's... Keith's fireball eye. I thought I saw some explodable rocks. Of course, you don't want to use a bomb flower in a place like that. Bad idea. Here's your marbled rock roast. Hey, that's... Oh, that's a marbled rock roast. Hey, you. That marbled rock roast, would you trade me for this? Sure. <laughs> Thanks, I owe you. Hey, chief. This make us fair and square? Yeah, so long as I got marbled rock roast, I've got no complaints. And talk about it being addicted to junk food. Phew, you helped me out there in a bind there. Yeah, I'm a meat man. When I heard about heard this place is serving a, a roast to, to die for, I came running. Little I know the meat here is actually rocks. <laughs> this isn't meat or a rock, but it's uh, the rarest thing I own. Take it with you as my thanks. Large zonite charge. Thank you. Ah. Oh, before I go. Well, before you go, have you heard about the rumored beast? If that creature's really out there, I'm gonna find it, if it's edible. When you love meat, it's just what you do. I figured I'd hit the stables to ask around for leads. By the way, you're not... we're not strangers anymore, buddy. If you see me out there in the wilds, give me a shout. Until then, take care. Okay, now that that's out of the way, we should check in with Goron City. Uh, right after we uh, replenish our hot stuff. This is a hot spring, so it's a good place you want to go back to from periodically from time to time. Uh, just to replenish your hearts. It's free, and it doesn't cost you a thing. And especially with that shrine that you can use as a fast travel. It's even more convenient. All right, let's return on our way to Goron City. <laughs> Goron City to the left, Bedrock Bistro by the right. Yeah, we were just there. Uh, at least we don't have to worry about all the extensive heat. Hmm, I wonder what's in that cave. Yunobu clan hiring. I mean, Yunobu core hiring. Discovery. West restaurant cave. And it doesn't hurt to check this out. It's just more rock roasts. Hmm, zone I devices? Doesn't hurt to check it out.
Oh, it's a booble frog. Oh, one more booble gem for the collection, I guess. Dig, dig, dig. Dig, dig, dig. I bet that's what's in that was in that cave back there. Another blue frog. Ooh, a ruby. Gotta love the hot springs. Aww. Huh? What's up, bud? Trying to get into this cave? I'm not one for f to stop folks, but I'll tell you, it's a boiling inside the cave. You gotta be burnt to a crisp. Of nice. Yeah, the caves in here ha have lava in them, so it's uh, burning hot inside. You'll turn to dust unless you are a Goron. For Hylians like us, we have to do something extra to protect ourselves. Mixing fireproof lizards with monster parts to make fireproof elixirs, for example. I can't help but out with ingredients, but if you have them, feel free to use that pot over there. Me, I'm completely drenched from top to bottom, so I won't be getting burnt anytime soon. Hey, buddy, you have a marble rock roast? There are some in here, some in there, but the path has collapsed, so you'll have to be careful. Thanks, pal. See another fireproof lizard. We need to be careful. Yep. Got five in case we need uh, more elixirs, just in case. Uh, sorry. Goron City, that way. It's like all the Gorons are eating marbled rock roasts. Is this part of the uh, phenomenons? Hey there, I'm glad to see somebody out here. It's been a long, long journey. Been here uh, since I saw another Hylian around here. It's uh, Gorons as far as the eyes can see. I'm en route to Goron City. I hear that it's the place if you want to go for fire resistant clothes. Hopefully they're not too pricey. But chances are they are going to be. Minecart land, plain sight, Goron City to the left. Eh, too bad we can't sell any of our extra weapons in case we do. We need money. Hello. That's Goron City, all right. Huh? I saw something up there.
Yep, it's a Korok. You found me. Bye bye. I see another shrine up there. Yep, it is pricey. Uh, a customer? Only reason I'm still running this place is because a boss boulder will get mad if I close up shop. If I'm not in my way. You know, let, let's buy some. Sell some. I'll sell some of my stuff for you. Okay, what can we sell? Da -da. Yeah, buy my teeth. Hey, everybody's got to make a living, pal. Back in when Death Mountain was active, this area had tons of lava. Flame resistant equipment was really popular at that time. Nowadays, only folks who buy stuff are Hylians or lava folk lovers who work in the case for Yonobo Coal. Yes, pal, actually, we need that. Yeah, if I remember right, in Breath of the Wild, it was, like, a little cheaper. duplicates of armor that we have that we can sell answer is survey says no Okay, was that enough for the flame breaker? Ah, not even close. And then again, we only need like two gauges, unlike the previous game. What's going on here? Cray, not you two. After all my warnings about marbled rock roast. Aww. So everyone's acting funny because because of the marbled rock roast that President Yonobu is mining. Hey. What are you mumbling about over there? Hey, is that Yonobu? Talking about marble rock roast, are ya? Oh. There's 
Nothing to worry about, in my opinion. Now stop flapping your rock chompers and get over here, Goro! Does he not remember us? Yeah. Well, if it ain't Link, you're so tiny I barely noticed ya. You know, but what's the big idea of talking to our esteemed guest? Huh. Boldo, or should I say, boss, you really don't know your place, do ya? Huh. Sergio, tell me, who runs Goron City these days? Oh. Yonobo Co. Hey. And Ofrak, who's in charge of Yonobo Co? Oh. You are President Yonobo? Hear that, Boldo? You're not needed around here no anymore. You think I'm just gonna sit here and... So, Link, what business do you have... What's your business in Goron City, huh? Princess Zelda, huh? And you're wondering about any strange sightings going on? Princess Zelda, I hear she's gone missing. But you're telling me she's still missing? I mean... It's hard to miss those lovely blonde locks of hers, after all. Locks? Does that mean here? Yeah. It does. Uh-oh. The lady with the hair like that. She's the same pre one President Yonobo talks about marbled rock roast. Pipe down, you two. Keep your trap shut if you know it's good for you. As you can see, Goron City is a, a pi in the picture of peace. And we can't help with Princess Zelda. So you're be you better shove off. I've got to go get more marketable rock roast. We can't afford to keep her waiting. You know, Bo, I swear, if you bring any more of that stuff, I'll... Uh, bad back? My aching back. Yep, called it. Stoggy old guy, sticking your nose into um, things where you've got your spine to worry about. Sergo, off right. Time to head back to you, Noble Core HQ. What was that about? What's his problem? Yonobu of Goron City. Ah, oh, that guy. Used to be like just a kid following me around crying boss in his place and boss that. It was all that business usual. Then he created Yonobu Co, a group of Gorons who work in the mines. Once they started digging up that marble rock roast, Yonobu and all the uh, youngsters changed. Changed how? You heard me. Changed. All due to that strange marbled rock roast you know Boko dug up. Now all the youngsters just sit around eating instead of working. Why is some of them even go running uh, scams trying to get more marbled rock roasts? There's no way he can see what's a mess he's, we're in. But he keeps a plain dumb. If it weren't for my, Darren's, my darn spine... I'd have marched right into Yonobo Co HQ and give Yonobo a piece of my mind. But his HQ is a pain in the neck location, you see. For starters, I have to go through the northern mine site. Ugh! In this condition, I can't even ride a cart. Well, what to do? Well, looks like we got our quest. Off to Yonobo Co. We'll just go in our pl his place. Oh, nice, he's selling sapphires. Well, what's in here? Huh, looks like a forge shop. We'll be able to go there once uh, Yonobu of the uh, Goron City is complete. Hey, look, it's a goddess statue. I uh, better mark it here just in case. Room's empty. What do you mean, no way? Oh. Hey, fella, what are you thinking? Strolling into a war zone? You must have seen Beware of Gorons uh, going wild uh, for Primo Red Rocks headline on the paper, right? Even I read the article. Oh. You're lying through your teeth. If you really read the article, you wouldn't know you'd be here in the first place. 
Goron scams are rampant these days, so Goron City bound travelers should uh, exercise caution. How do I know that quote off the top of my head? Because I wrote it, but I'm Doma, the famous reporter. Eh, but that's yesterday's news. Time is money, and I ain't rich enough to spread uh, it talking about some random stranger. I gotta get back to on the trail to the greatest mystery. It's something so secret that nobody has figured out. <sighs> hey, now's the part where you're supposed to ask. What's the great mystery? The great mystery? Oh. Ah, geez, I hate to let this slip, but since uh, you want to know, know so badly, I guess I, I can let you in on it. We all know Gorons live underground way back when, but the particulars are even a total mystery, a great one even. And we all know the place's name is Gordinia. Or Gordi Gorondina, if I'm pronouncing that right. And if you're lucky enough to get it, get that is. Ask uh, Gorons if they'll tell you anything. They just don't know a thing. But I'm gonna let, let that stop me? No. Because I'm an awesome reporter. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this great mystery and turn it into an even greater book. Doma's Guide to the Unknown It is going to fly off the shelves. So time to start practicing my signature. Okay, then. Okay, I guess we'll have to follow the trail to Yonobu Core HQ. I see another fireproof lizard. Just reduce the temperature. And there goes another fireproof lizard. Not that we need him anymore. Smoother wing butterfly. What's the problem? I'm pretty sure someone said you can get to the end of the tracks if you get in this minecart. But how do you make it move? I bet the ancient city of Gordinia is uh, over there. Well, hey, who are you? Who are you, guy? Me? I'm not doing nothing. Well, if you're wondering, Gordinia is the legendary place where the Gorons of old used to live. I heard there's an amazing treasure stored there, too. They had even more advanced technology than we do now. I heard they, they have to ride strange vehicles. I wanted to use this minecart to search for it, but I can't get it to budge. Anyway, you better not tell anyone about my secrets, okay? Okay, side quest. Uh, mind if I borrow this? So, yeah, that's what happened. <sighs> okay, well, we're got, just gonna have to use this on a different cart. Sorry to scare you, pal. Lights nearby? <laughs> hey, it's you again. The one who knows uh, President Yonobo. Uh. 
He's talking about marbled rock roast with the, the blonde lady right now. No one's allowed to come in. I really don't like that lady. Come on, what's not to love about Princess Zelda? She's pure of heart. But it's definitely the marbled rock roast's fault that everyone's been acting funny. Yeah. President Inobo said the lit that weird uh, mask he's wearing uh, he got from the lady too. He was always so nice, but as soon as he started wearing it, he got real mean. Okay, so sounds like he didn't have anything like a change of heart or something. He's most likely being manipulated, it sounds like. Aww. Hey, you're friends with President Inobu, aren't you? You know how he's uh, created Yonobu Co. for mining? It was supposed to be helpful for people who needed ore and stuff, but now it's just making things weird around here. If we let you pass, will you convince uh, President Yonobu to make Yonobu stop mar mining marbled rock roast? I'll see what I can do. Slegro, did you hear that? Sure did. Maybe he'll get President Inobo to be himself again. Oh, hey. It's hot in here, so I think it'd be dangerous if you went like that. If you don't have fire-resistant equipment, you should go to your HQ to get some. Uh, way ahead of you, kids. Oh. And I actually got this, uh, the Varadonia helmet, um... Uh, from an amiibo that you can get. Uh, it's uh, Daruk's uh, amiibo. You can get all the Divine Beast helmets uh, from the perspective of amiibos. Anyway. It's Zelda, all right. President Yonobo. We want you to take uh, take off that weird mask so you can go back to the president we know and love. Oh. Boys. Huh? Ah. <laughs> Princess Zelda is right. Marbled rock roast is good. It makes everyone happy. Okay, he's clearly not himself. Uh oh. Gotta stay clear. Now's our chance. All right, made some progress. That mask must be really light. What are you waiting for? I'm right here. One more blow out of do it. I'm right here, come and get me. Ow. Hey, come on, it's not like I went out on purpose. I do see a shrine over there. Okay, that was clearly a bad move. Okay, I probably shouldn't get distracted. I'm right here. Okay, he's clearly coming a lot faster now.
eat some apples for recovery. There we go. What happened? Huh? Slegro. Offrak, I don't understand. Oh. Everything's a blur ever since I put on the, that mask from Princess Zelda. I need to talk to her. Maybe she can tell me the, what the story is. Hey, where is she anyway? There she is. Huh? Ah, Princess Zelda. Huh? What the? A cave-in? Oh no, that huh? fight must have caused a cave-in. Uh, stand corrected. Did cause a cave-in. Now what do we do? I mean, we can use Ascend, but the others are trapped. Huh? Is everyone alright? Nobody's injured? Huh? Huh? What was that? Did he hear the same thing as Tulin did? I thought I heard something. Huh? Well, it doesn't matter right now. Princess Elda is outside the cave. The blonde lady was Princess Zelda? Huh? Yeah, and I needed to ask her about the mask and the marbled rock roast. We gotta hurry to talk to her. Oh. But the only way to break those red rocks is with my charge attack. But I can't really see where I'm going when I charge. <laughs> Link, be my eyes and guide me, Goro. Yonobu's firepower. Goro, charge! Just like that. Here I go! And again. That will definitely come in handy. Especially with mining. Huh. That did the trick. Come on, boys. Let's go after Princess Zelda. Huh? Princess Zelda. Hmm. I'm not seeing her. Hmm? What's that red haze pausing from Death Mountain, Goro? Is that the cause of it? You don't remember, President Yonobo? You told us that red haze is dangerous and that we shouldn't go near it. It showed up at the same time Hyrule Castle started flowing up and the upheaval happened. The ground was uh, super rumbly and uh, you were worried a Death Mountain might erupt again, so you went to check it out. Huh? Yeah, when you came back from the mountain, you were wearing that mask. I remember now, Goro. I saw Princess Zelda at Death Mountain's crater. She talked to me and gave me that mask to wear. So that mean so Princess Zelda lives in Death, Death Mountain? Well, she's, def she's definitely not here, so maybe if we go up there, we'll find her. So let go. Offrak, I'm going to go look for Princess Zelda. I can't be having you two along, but I'll sort this out and ask her how to get everyone back to normal. So wait, so wait back, wait back home for me. Everything's gonna be a okay. <laughs> yep. Link, please come with me to Death Mountain and look for the princess. You got it. Okay, first things first. Let's go to that shrine. timing. Our meaning here must have been fate. Now fight with me. Ah. Not bad at all. Just watching you. Oh, if I can tell you're an ordinary guy. <laughs> it was Destiny that brought us together and Destiny, I'll give you this as thanks. Good thing we pinned it.
wonder what's inside that cave. Discovery. Unobo Co. HQ. South Cave. And it's a horrible one. Ooh, nice shot, Tulin. Ow! That's what you get. We may not have bomb flowers, but th that was the next best thing. an extra wheel around here? Yes, there is. Shake it out a little bit. Ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a four-wheeler. Now, when using Yonobu for mining, you gotta be careful about where the rocks will land up. Or the ore. How did that get active? Collect the bright bloom seeds, we'll need them for the underground. the shrine is my guess there's hidden treasure here the ember headdress yes this is where you can actually get one of the legendary dragon outfits or well, a piece of them anyway careful not to take a bath in the lava Jump too soon. <laughs> Just total recall our ride and try this again. Love those apples, huh? There's actually an orchard that I may have showed you in a previous video that you can actually restock up on. Ah, not again.
I'm starting to think those bright bloom seeds are not worth it. And we can collect those instead. And our shrine is going to be right over there. We're not alone. Uh, what was that? Here I go! We're just here. How did we miss this? Uh, oh, well. The Margaku Gug Shrine, if I'm pronouncing it right. I could be wrong, though. Wield Wonders. That didn't work. Okay, plan B. Lava always gets somebody sooner or later. More than once. <laughs> Amazing what you can do with technology these days. up those stairs. Nah. Just the way back. And I'll just leave it.
Uh, I don't even want to know what's the, at the bottom of that. Going up. Ow. Thank you for the arrow, pal. I see what we have to do here. We have to use this as a scooper. Okay, wrong angle. I guess it had all the weight it needed. <laughs> eh, might as well. And another Shrine of Light has been completed. One more, we can receive a blessing. Question is, how do we get to Death Mountain from here? Reminders for Hylian workers. The red substance spouts uh, from the cracks is called gloom. Avoid it at all costs. Coming into contact with, drains your vitality. If you touch it, get away from it immediately and rest. Yeah, we already know what gloom is. Nice shot. Goro! Boom. There goes almost his armor. Okay, Yonobo, do, his, do your stuff. Crack his armor. Knight's shield is badly da bow is badly damaged. Yeah, those wolves don't know when to run. Headshot.
Nice shot. Here I go! Charge! Steer right. That's all of them. Now we can claim that treasure chest. Maybe there's something good inside. Uh, night shield. Can't carry anymore. Hmm. Fine, we'll get rid of our shields of the mind of mind's eye. Maybe fuse it with our other shield. Leave nothing unwasted. <laughs> Sorry, Fido. I'm thinking climbing Death Mountain will be a lot easier if we... Oh, another Shrine of Light nearby? Is it that one up there? Or is it a different one? I can do it! I see a dragon's tail. Here I go! Charge! Huh? Follow the bloopy. Kenobu, <laughs> come over here. Okay, the blue pea ran in here. I can do it. Oh man, if I known there was going to be a swarm of keys. I would have used bombs. Anyway. What was the name of this cave? Death Mountain Full Hill Cave. All right, we're using our uh, wooden materials. Serves you right. Here I go. takes care of the horror blends. 
And another treasure chest. Here I go! Combo Crusher Spear. Hmm. Where is that shrine of light? there. Well, there's a blue bullfrog, but... There's definitely something here. Ow. Rusty shield. A ruby, nice. I'm actually starting to think that maybe we should uh, equip the uh, sapphire to this. Time to see if we can catch a ride. I 
I just love recon. Maybe we can hitch a ride from up there. Back to your number HQ. Sending me back here. What the? Okay. I swear, if those keys come over here. I thought I can get their attention, but I guess I can't. Here I go. Hopefully this route takes me to Death Mountain. Something I should mention here. There's uh, plenty of stone octoroks here. If you throw a rusted weapon or a broken weapon that's close to breaking, I'll actually restore it. So you might want to take advantage of that. They'll respawn after every blood moon, so. Just something to keep in mind in case you want to have your weapons rebuilt. And there's plenty along this trail. Death Mountain West Site. Now what's in here? Discovery. Death Mountain West Tunnel. <laughs> Nearby above. Just when I thought I could finally have my way. What a pity, Hylian. The stinking track's broken, now I'm stuck here. None of the other workers noticed uh, just great. At this rate, I won't be able to buy more marbled rock roast, and this is my last one. So yeah, if you figure out a way to get me out of here. It's real simple, just let me know when I can get on the cart and send it flying.
Are those rockets? Yeah, that'll work. Better add another one on the other side just to be safe. Better add that in for good measure. Whoa. Try getting it on. Okay. <laughs> Fire and all. He made it out at least. <laughs> I can see outside, just a little farther. Oh, come on, really? Let's add one more rocket. And I can I could have probably just hit the cart. <laughs> the outside I escaped. Not bad considering how a pity you are. Want a marble rock roast as an award? Just kidding. The supply is running low, and it's precious to me, so I can't put part with it. Instead, I'll give you this that I picked up in the cave. Okay. The abandoned laborer is complete. Time to find that shrine. Yeah, it's just as I thought. It's that one. Well, 
And what they say, fastest way to the top is a straight line. This would be so much easier if I had the climber's gear set. I better check my guide out. And from where I can get it. Better rest. Gotta be another way up there. Almost there. <laughs> Setsum Shrine. <laughs> A controlling device. road. <laughs> hey, there's another one right here. Why did I get off? It was pointless. Get rid of that Boko shield. I mean, that Boko spear, it's ugly. I wonder what's in that corner over there. Where that trench? ball now. Reverse. Uh oh. Going forward.
Come on. Come on. He shoots, he scores. And in the treasure chest we get... Ah, of course it's a construct bow. Uh, we don't need the soldier's bow, so... I mean, we're going to be going into a fire dungeon pretty soon, so... Wooden weapons will just burn up. Just like a sidewalk on a summer day. Okay, I think we need to be we need to be done. And we have liftoff. Ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived at our destination. Please remain seated until, with the seatbelts fastened until the vehicle has come to a complete stop. Thank you for flying Air Link Te Tears of the Kingdom. And a light of blessing has been obtained. We got enough uh, blessings to exchange for a shrine, so let's just make a quick fast travel. I think I marked that goddess statue. Yes, let us get a heart container, please. Every little bit of health helps. All right, going back to the shrine we just visited. Yonobu is waiting for us. Let's just go up. What does the shrine say? I mean, the sign say. Reminders for Hylian workers. Yeah, it's the red gloom warning. Huh? Link, over there! Kenobu, wait! I think it 
was near here. When I came up the mountain, I saw her. The princess was standing right here, Goro. And then she gave me this fancy mask to wear around. After that, um... Oh, jeez. It's no use. I can't remember anything that happened after that. Well, it looks like we got a fight on our hands. Huh? Whoa, that that thing just broke out of the crater like it was nothing. Is that marbled rock? It's alive and there's three of those things. Hang on, no, those are heads. It's so big. How could something like that appear out of nowhere like that? I've never seen anything like this on Death Mountain, Goro. If we don't take that thing out, who knows what will happen to Princess Zelda. But I don't know exactly how I can charge at it down here. Any ideas, Link? Oh boy, it's real big! Yeah, let's take a picture of it first for the completium. Uh, hang on, I have an idea. Hope you Nobu doesn't get airsick. I can do it. Nice shot. We have our answer. Fly the plane, and your noble charges at it like a cannonball. head down and just left to go it's probably a reference to a Volvagia from Ocarina of Time that got him And the crater is open. Visitors, please exercise with extreme caution because it will be very hot inside. Mm. We we did it. We did it. What was that thing anyway? I thought Princess Zelda walked off somewhere around here. Huh? Well, you don't suppose she fell into the, that hole, do you? That would be awful. Come on, Link. Let's hurry down there. Princess Zelda, don't you worry, we're coming! Well, only one way to go. Don't touch the gloom. Like I said, visitors exercise with extreme caution because it will be scorching hot. 
into the death ca mountain chasm we go. Please refrain from using any plastic or metal items and weapons because they will burn up. Hotter than a marshmallow over a bonfire. Also, don't touch the lava. Wow, look at that. It looks almost beautiful. Matisse Lightroot. And where there's a light root, there's a shrine right above it. The light route dispelled the darkness and the brighten the surrounding area. Right, there's Yunobu right over there. Hmm? Who'd have who would knew it, that it would look like this inside Death Mountain? Now that I look closer, I see a whole lot of those red rocks. Why would Princess Zelda be down here with all this marbled rock roast? Huh? Come. Come. To me. Huh? I'm hearing those things again. But I mean, you heard it that too, right, Link? Because I definitely heard someone speaking just now. Let's see, I think it was coming from over that away. Maybe this has something to do with Zelda. Yep. I've got a heaping pile of questions for her, so let's hurry over to where Zelda is. Alright. It looks like we're going to be going into the Fire Temple for the next video. So unfortunately, that's all without time we have for today. So... Join me next time for when we tackle the Fire Temple. If you like this video, please like it. Subscribe to my channel. It'll help me out with the YouTube algorithm. Join my Discord. The links will be in the description below, along with all my so other social medias. My Instagram, my Facebook page, my Twitter, my Twitch channel, and more. Until next time, the game counter is closed. Megalink Jolon signing off. Have a nice rest of your day, folks. Hey Mega fans, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like, comment, hit the subscribe button, and share this video. It would help me out a lot. Also follow me on my social media such as my Facebook page, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch channel for my live streams, and more. And if possible, leave a tip to support me on Ko-fi and Patreon. Thanks for watching again, and until then, MLJ signing off. Until next time, Megalink fans.